The first petition to be filed Monday would be by former Kilome MP Harun Mwao challenging the validity of President Uhuru Kenyatta's election victory. Mwao argues the poll body IEB Senate's chair of Fulichibukati erred in conducting fresh presidential polls without holding fresh nominations. In his opinion, the nomination and nomination certificates and candidates for the presidential election of the 8th of August expired on that day and became null and void after nullification of the president-elect's election. Through his lawyer, Benjamin Musioki, Mwao also takes issue with the inclusion of Cyrus Jurongo on the ballot paper, despite him having been declared bankrupt by IEBC. Mwao is seeking a declaration from the Supreme Court bench that a proceeding to conduct fresh presidential elections without nominated candidates, nominations, without fees, and without a giving persons listed as candidates equal campaigning period directly affected the conduct and results of the fresh presidential elections of 26th October 2017. The former MP accuses the IBC of delaying preparations for the repeat poll, eating into the time that would have been used to conduct nominations and prepare for an election 60 days from the day the Supreme Court nullified Kenyatta's election. Mwao further averse that the use of ballot papers containing the names of individuals who were not validly nominated is unconstitutional. The petition, however, does not delve into any illegalities, if any, that may have been committed in the repeat election nor does it delve into the accuracy of the number of votes declared for the various candidates. Soon after, a presidential petition seeking to have the NASA leadership found in contempt of court would be filed by the Institute for Democratic Governance. The NGO, represented by Kyoko Kilikumi, argues that the NASA leadership, Rilo Dinga, Kalonzo Musioka, Moses Utangula, Musale Mudavadi, and James Urengo, committed election offenses and engaged in serious electoral malpractices and should be found unfit to hold public office, saying, quote, the respondents are jointly and severally liable for the loss and damage arising from the acts of violence and intimidation occasioned during the period of the fresh presidential election. The NGO holds that NASA leader Odinga and his co-principals attempted to sabotage the fresh presidential election through incitement to his supporters and subverted their will to participate in the polls. With the petitions now filed at the registry, the Supreme Court bench will have up until the 20th of this month to hear and determine them. However, focus will also shift to the newly gazetted electoral laws and the manner in which they will radically change the landscape in which such petitions are heard and determined. Jackie Marie Citizen TV at the Supreme Court Buildings, Nairobi.